Good morning, everybody, on this Friday, January 4th. And I'm sitting up here all alone. I'm all by myself. I don't even have any dogs or anything because Neil's actually still in bed. It's about 1035. I probably should go get him up if no other reason than to walk uh, Wednesday because Wednesday's still in his room. Um, Buttercup has been up with me, but she's not up here with me. She's actually laying in my bed right now waiting for Wednesday to get up because they're partners in crime and you know she wants Wednesday up anyway I am filming a foundation review today so I'm not just putting makeup on for the fun of it but I am going to start doing that because technically Sunday starts my first week of my shop my stash I think I think it does maybe it's next week I already filmed my shop my stash for my first two weeks uh my intro hang on a second all right, well, there was nobody there. <laughs> that happens a lot. Like my house phone, nobody actually calls me on my house phone. The only person that actually calls on my house phone is my mother-in-law. And that's rare. Most of the time she just uh, doesn't call us. <laughs> She'll send John a, uh, an email before she calls us. Um, but like no one else ever calls us on our house phone. We got a phone number from somebody else. Like we got, uh, we have two house phones. We have um, our house phone that is actually our business phone. Um, it's part of my publishing company and I use it as my, my, num my phone number for the boutique. And it used to be our house phone, um, but we switched over. We ended up started paying for uh, like the Comcast triple play thing. Um, and when we did that, I didn't want to get rid of our old phone number that we had with, who we have it with? Vonage. Um, so we still have the Vonage phone number. And like I said, that's used as our business number. I use it, it's actually an expense to my publishing company. Um, so yeah, I use that as my business number, but we still get phone calls on that number every once in a while too. Um, but our new phone, like no one calls us on our new phone at all. So most of the time it rings, I pick it up and it's dead air or it's an automated message because it's just, you know, we're on the do not call list, but people call it anyway. And I feel like my lipstick is transferring down to my lips. Sorry, I have to look, it's bothering me. I'm seeing it in the, in the phone and it's looking, mm, no, it's not. It just looks like it is. Anyway, um, like I was saying, uh, Buttercup's downstairs on my bed waiting for Wednesday to get up. And I think I, even though Neil's sick, I think I do need to get Wednesday up to get walked. Even if I walk her um, and leave Neil in bed because I don't want to leave her much longer without being walked in the morning because that's not good for her. So I'm going to go see if Neil's going to get up and walk her. If not, then I'll walk her and let her out of his room so she's not stuck in there anymore. So um, she's probably sleeping. <laughs> My dogs sleep an inordinate amount of mon uh, time, not money, an inordinate an amount of time they sleep. So anyway, um, I was answering some comments right now. I'm looking at resumes. I have two positions that I'm trying to fill um, and I received my HR department sent me 68 resumes, 68 resumes. My boss told me at one point, she thinks that we should interview 30% of applicants that we get resumes from. That means I'm gonna have to have 23-ish, 22, 23 interviews. Um, I don't have time to do 22 or 23 interviews. I just don't. So maybe, I, I don't know. I'm gonna be on an interview panel with um, my deputy and then a, uh, another program manager from another branch. Um, because he is uh he's hiring for one position i'm hiring for two so um that's gonna be the interview panel so but i still have to review all the resumes yeah anyway um i don't know what we're gonna do today i think we're gonna fill in the mukbang i already ate my yogurt and blueberries for breakfast um I'm going to eat a salad for lunch and we're going to film a mukbang tonight for dinner. As long as Neil's feeling up to it. Neil's really not, was not feeling well last night. I'm going to get this lipstick off. I like the color, but it feels like it's weird. It feels dry, but it doesn't feel dry. Does anybody have that problem with a lipstick where it feels dry, but it doesn't feel dry? It's supposed to be a matte liquid lipstick. 
um, it's the Hank and Henry lip, matte lip liquid lipstick that came out in the Boxy Charm a couple months ago. Um, so it's supposed to be a matte liquid lipstick, but like I blotted my lips. <sighs> that's gonna be kind of gross, but that's like all the lipstick that came off on, I'm keeping that tissue there because I'm gonna blot, my, blot it again in a minute and see if it's still coming off. I put this on a while ago. Yeah, it's still like coming off. Um, but it's supposed to be a matte liquid lipstick and it's not drying down matte. Like, and I have, I've had this on for over an hour, like an hour and a half now, and it's still drying down. It's still coming off. So I don't know what's going on with it, but it kind of feels dry, but it kind of doesn't feel dry at the same time. I know that probably doesn't make much sense, but it is what it is. And my pop socket's popping off right now. So I got, um, I got a new, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit I got a new pop socket. Um, when I got my new phone. Well, I got it before I got my new phone. And it keeps popping up. It won't stay on. So I think I've got my old pop socket still on my old phone. I think what I might do is take it off my old phone and actually put it on my new phone because I've I never this never popped off. Never. And John got a new pop socket as well. Um and his doesn't come off. So I think and, and we have the same exact case, the same exact case, same maker, same everything, except for mine's for an XS and his is for an XR because he got the XR instead of the XS. So we've got the same exact case from the same brand, from the same maker. Um, the color is different, but that shouldn't make a difference. But we both got pop sockets. His, he put on and it's never popped off. Never. Mine comes off like once a day, once every other day. It came off yesterday. It came off today. It came off on Sunday. I mean, it's Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. So it's like coming off like every day or every other day it's coming off and it's very, very annoying. And I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it's because the base of it is black instead of white. And the only thing I can come up with is maybe my phone gets hot and then because I'm holding it, it gets hot. So with it being black instead of white, it like pulls in the heat. I mean, it makes sense as far as like dark colors pull in heat, light colors reflect heat, right? Or put, put don't hold heat. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's not supposed to do this. It's not supposed to just come off the phone. Like it literally just comes off. Like I'm I'm holding the phone and even like my fingers, like right down here. Where's my pinky finger? There it is. Um, I'm holding the bottom of the phone with my pinky and my thumb. Like I'm holding like the back of the phone with these three fingers and then the pinky and the thumb are holding the phone like this. And I have the pop socket between my first two fingers. And it literally just started peel, pull, peeling back off the phone. Anyway, I'm going to have to get a new one. Um, but I've been rambling for far too long. I have to get back to reviewing resumes because I have 68 resumes to go through. All right, I'm gonna go check out Wednesday and I'm gonna read my resumes. I'll see you guys later. Bye. We filmed the mukbang, finally. I've been talking about doing it for weeks, days, uh, but we filmed it. Um, yeah. Neil's not feeling well still. He's at least out of bed and he's washing his hands, which is good. And he's drinking tea, which is probably good as well. John's actually making him some tea. But we filmed our mukbang. Our New Year's mukbang. I'm gonna take the lights and camera back upstairs now. Um, unless, are you gonna, Nick gonna do the um, possum mukbang tomorrow? Um, Nick. What? Nicholas, are you out here? <clears throat> They're talking about doing a possum mukbang tomorrow. The pasta pole. Do you wanna do the possible mukbang tomorrow, Nick, or you wanna do it later? Okay, so I won't take the camera and lights upstairs. I will leave them down here. Um, but I am gonna go upstairs and get my computer. I thought about maybe going and getting a new pop socket tonight, but I don't think we're gonna do that. I don't feel like going out. Um, I don't. What time is it? Seven. Six thirty. Six thirty. It's six thirty. So um, I'm a little miffed. I filmed a video for next week for Epic Beauty Fail before I brought the the lights and camera downstairs, and when I imported all of the um, files into my computer. Something weird happened with my microphone and it actually uh, skipped several times during filming. So I have to throw the entire thing away. And I'm very, very frustrated about that. Um, and I don't want to refilm that video because it's like a tag video where you answer questions and it won't be authentic if I refilm it. So, and the 
the the camera sound is not good it's got a bunch of clicking in it so i can't use the camera sound so i'm gonna have to throw that whole video away and that very, is very upsetting to me um i um <clears throat> i might film it maybe three or four months like in the summer or something like that because i um i won't really remember everything by then if that makes sense <laughs> So it'll be more authentic if I wait a couple of months. But I am, I do have an, I decided to do another video. It was, I was like a, a YouTuber tag. Uh, no, a small, small creator tag is what the, the tag was. So I'll just do it in a couple months. I decided to do um, a video that I saw on Abadab's channel. She does a, she did a 30 random facts about me. So I was writing down random facts. So I came up with 30 facts about myself. I will film that tomorrow. I'm also going to film a palette roulette tomorrow, I think, as well. So, and the other Wednesday video is like the special brush video. So, I might actually film all three of those tomorrow um, after they film a mukbang. So, John and Nick are going to film a mukbang together. And then I think we'll move everything back upstairs and um, I can film the brush video first because the brush is for like foundation. Um, so I can film that video first and then I can film the palette roulette video next and then I can film the 30 random questions about me. The problem is, is that they're not going to post in that order. So like the 30 random questions would post this coming Wednesday, the brush video would post the Wednesday after that, and then the palette roulette would post the Wednesday after that. So there's that. Anyway, um, like I said, it's 6.30. I think I'm going to edit some videos. We just filmed the mukbang for Monday, so I think I'm going to go edit that right now so that I can get that uploading. Um, and then I might move into the Tuesday taste test because Monday's Epic Beauty Fail is already uploaded. I don't think I'm going to have a Tuesday video for Epic Beauty Fail this week because none of my, my beauty boxes have shown up yet. So Wednesday is going to be the 30 random facts video. So that actually should probably be really easy to edit. Um, so once I, once I film it tomorrow, it should be really easy, but, um, I can actually do, uh, I already, I already have my, what I ate in a day. I filmed today. John filmed a couple for me already too, so I could throw his up. But, um, because I filmed our dinner, our mukbang as my dinner, I want to post that next week because I even said when I filmed it, I was like, this is my mukbang from Monday. So, um, I don't want to post it like a week later and have me say, this is the mukbang from Monday when it's not the mukbang from Monday. So. Um, so I'm going to post today's what I ate in a day next week with this mukbang and I don't know what taste test I'm going to, I'm going to post. We didn't do it. We didn't film any over the holiday break. We, we thought about it and we considered it and I, I, I thought about it. Um, but, but, um, I, I, I never sat everybody down to, to do it. And Neil worked a lot during the holiday break break. So, um, he wasn't really available to do taste test videos. So there's that. Anyway, I'm going to go take this makeup off. I've now had it on for nine hours and I'm ready to take it off. So I'm going to go take this makeup off and bring my computer downstairs and go back in the bedroom and get under the blanket because my feet are cold and um, work on my computer. So I will see you guys later.